Hello everyone, this is Terripper, and today we are going to be talking about a new move in Mordhau, a combat move that cannot be seen in games such as Chivalry and Warband. A move that is deceptively simple but incredibly useful on the battlefield. This move, of course, is called the Morph. It looks a little something like this. From a third-person perspective, if we look at the character model, we can see a stab is likewise. An overhead is thuswise. And any other kind of strike can be any which way like this. However, a morph takes these common attack moves and turns it into something else. For example, we start with a stab, but we want to turn it into an overhead mid-strike. Let's say because we think our opponent is going to parry instantaneously and we see it. So, we do a stab and then quickly go into an overhead. Let me show that again. We go into a stab and quickly go into an overhead. That is a very quick succession of rolling the mouse wheel forward and then either pulling up your mouse to the top left or top right, and then swinging with your LLMB. Or, as I have done, go into your settings, controls, and find yourself down here, where you can map out individual attacks to an individual key. I have, for example, the right upper strike to mouse wheel down, so I will mouse wheel forward and then quickly mouse wheel down. Meaning that I'm going to see a morph. Unlike those two attacks, a morph is an incredibly quick move, can be done at any point. Morphing can look different depending on the weapon. For example, for a Warhammer, it's a lot more of a shorter animation, a lot quicker in this respect. Just a normal stab. But let's say I'm going to turn an LMB into a stab. Just like that. There must be a stab present within the morph, either what you are morphing out of, or morphing into. Must be a stab. This is what a morph looks like with a polearm, like the billhook. Very quick polearm, but also quite long and versatile. It becomes very distracting for your opponent and can completely throw them off guard. So in terms of Mordhau tactics, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to play a couple clips for you guys that showed off the tactic in question rather than just showing it in a cold, very clinical environment. Now, as you can see, this duel starts off very rocky. However, I take it into my own court and eventually pull out a morph at just the right time. As you can see, it wins me the duel. Now, in some duels, morphs can be hard to follow. In this one, it's a very snap decision on my part. Just here, as I notice him start to swing from the left, I make the decision. And in doing so, I've weakened him enough that I can simply kill him. In this duel, my opponent takes the initiative quite quickly, dealing me a lot of damage in a very short amount of time. However, the morph, as I might have mentioned before, allows you to take the initiative, as such, by hitting your opponent while they're winding up an attack. If you time it properly, of course. Some of you might be wondering, where do drags fit in in all of this morphing business? Well, I can tell you that drags are alive and well in Mordhau, however, they're a lot harder to pull off. As you just saw there, I did one as a result of a morph, and in doing so, I was able to get past my opponent's block and kill him in the end. In yet another fight where I do not have the initiative, I am able to come out on top, despite the fact that he deals a lot of damage to me here right at the beginning. I win as a result of a well-placed morph in just a few seconds because of an early parry. As you saw there, it was a bit of a panic on his part. Speaking of panics, I thought I'd include a couple of clips where I wasn't doing the best. This duel does not end up in my favor, and as you can see, I'm all over the place with panic parries and just bad strikes. But as I try to regain initiative here, I make the mistake of trying to morph while he stabs at me. Morphing into an enemy stab is almost always a bad idea, as their stab will hit you first. Not all weapons morph the same, as I stated earlier, and one-handed weapons, even one as slow as the mace, are going to end up being quite a bit faster than things like the long or great sword, at least in most circumstances. When it comes to morphs, however, they end up being very unpredictable and unexpected, especially in this man's case. Fighting a two-handed weapon such as that spear with my mace would be a lot more difficult without the use of morphs, which, as you can see, cause him to hesitate and stutter instead of parrying, in which case he might have survived. 
Our final fight starts off a bit tense, but will ultimately lead to my death. Mostly as a result of bad decision making on my part to try to morph at the end. You can probably imagine where this is going. I try morphing at an attack that is far too quick for me, right here. Hopefully this video was helpful for those of you in the alpha and outside of it, who are just interested in the game and what it might entail. Thanks guys for watching. It was a grand day. If you enjoyed this current format, let me know in the comments. See you guys next time. Probably chambering. I love morphs. I love morphs. They're so cool. Okay, Hades is even something better.